Hey everyone, this is Drew back for Game 2 of the Top 8 at the Indiana Regional. Game 1 saw Carl Shue win a decisive victory over Kyle Sukovich's supporterless hand. Carl's on the left and Kyle is on the right. And of course Kyle gets to go first since he lost Game 1. Looks like he has a support start this time. I see a collector in that hand. And he chooses to lead with the Cyndaquil. Alright, they both get Cyndaquils this time. Looks like Kyle, yep, he's gonna collect her. Uh, I saw a Nine Tails in his hand, so he doesn't have to eat this game, which is a very good start. And it should enable him to get turn 3 Rush Ram attacking at the latest. I think I saw a Typhlosion in his hand and a Quilava as well. So it appears he has all the tools he needs to get going this game after that abysmal game 1 start. He does indeed grab a Rush Ram of Vulpix and a Cyndaquil. Probably see him bench all those. I think he had another Cyndaquil in his hand. And I wouldn't be surprised if he plays that as well. Yep. There's no reason not to bench any of those Pokemon. He goes ahead and attaches. Uh, he's probably going to pass after that. Yep. On Carl's side, his hand doesn't look very good. I think I see an energy retrieval. A switch, it looks like. A Quilava. And maybe a Rush Ram in there as well. Yeah. And But he does have a communication. I would be surprised if he didn't eek here. The one downside of Carl's deck is he took out Ninetales. So he doesn't really have the draw that Kyle has available to him. So he usually has to eek to start off games, I would imagine. Because he's not always going to have a draw supporter in his hand. Alright, so he does get the Cleffa. Taking his time to shuffle his deck. Yep. And he attached the Rush Ram, so he has to waste his switch. Yep. And he eeks. He did get a Cyndaquil, he started with the Cyndaquil, so um, he's in pretty good shape. Next turn, if he gets a Rare Candy, Typhlosion, maybe he can even take the first prize in this matchup, which would be a pretty big deal going second. Alright, the Cleffa stays asleep, so Kyle can't even knock out this Cleffa this turn. Hits a... Typhlosion, Rush Ram, and it appeared to be a second collector off that Roast Reveal. And he does use that second collector. Uh, really just thinning the deck at this point, getting all of his Rush Rams into his hand for the trade war that's uh, definitely going to happen at some point this game. Both players appear to have pretty decent setups. Making sure nothing's prized, and yep, he grabs a, another Rush Ram, a Cynical, and a Cleffa, and he has his third Rush Ram in his hand already. Kyle only plays three. We might see that come into play later on this game if he happens to run out of rescue energies or something like that, because four Rush Ram is definitely better for the mirror. Obviously, you're going to be trading back and forth, and Carl plays four, whereas Kyle plays three. We're going to see two Quilavas coming to play, it looks like. And, uh, and he passes it back. I see. I think I saw two Typhlosions in that hand. So Kyle's going to start attacking next turn with Blue Flare, it looks like, at the latest. Now, Carl's hand is not very good this turn. He really needed that Clef to wake up so he could eek again. He did have the Typhlosion, but nothing else. He has no supporters. It's just like Kyle's uh, start game one, whereas you need those supporters to keep yourself going. And this Cleffa is probably going to be knocked out this turn from an Outrage. And Carl will need to top deck something at that point. He's, he will have a Blue Flare KO on the Outrage from the Outrage damage, but past that long term, he needs to top deck something within the next one to two turns or it could get ugly for him. 
Alright, he draws. Plays that second Cyndaquil that was in his hand. Rescue. And it looks like he top decked the Juniper that turn, so that's great news for Carl. He needed that. To keep himself going. Looks like he has a communication. I think I saw. Maybe I saw a rare candy in his hand. I'm not too sure about that. We could see his second Typhlosion this turn. Yep, he does indeed play, grab a, a Typhlosion with that communication. So, what looked to be dicey situation for Carl turns out great after a top deck Duniper. Alright. His hand. Look to be just a fire, a cedar, a rescue, and a s trainer of some kind. He might need to top deck something again next turn as well. I can't tell what that trainer is. Alright, so he blue flares for the knockout. I actually would have liked to see Carl attach that afterburner to the Cyndaquil because the rescue is going to bring that rush around back. And he doesn't have to rely on a top deck at that point, because he can just play the rush around back down, after burner twice to attach again and retreat the cynical next turn. Whereas after burning on the Typhlosion, he can't do that. He has to commit another resource to the Typhlosion to retreat it, or the cynical to retreat it. And the numbers don't work out to have blue flare again. So Kyle goes through the motions here, promoting his second rush ram. The game is pretty much going to boil down to can Kyle keep blue flaring every turn? And can Carl keep returning the KOs? Alright, so Kyle chooses to knock out the Cyndaquil with Catcher. Thus, uh, Carl avoids taking a, a setback from his slight misplay last turn by after burning to Typhlosion. Ah, uh, looked like that second trainer in his hand was a collector, which is good. He can grab all the rush rams to keep the KO war gone. So it looks like we're going to have a back and forth game. No one's going to whiff for at least a few turns. There's plenty of rescue energy in play. So Kyle has an advantage here as long as he can keep attacking. He has at least two more blue flares in play. And Carl has at least four more, counting the rescue energies. Alright, so he plays down Horsey and two of those rush rams. I don't like three rush rams in play ever. You only need one on the bench because you can just promote it after bearing twice and blue flare again, and then bench the second one that was in your hand. You really want to see another Cyndaquil come into play there. Instead of that second bench rush ram, Typhlosion is very key to this matchup. If Kyle was to happen to KO a Typhlosion somehow, and Carl didn't have an energy in his hand for whatever reason, he could whiff a turn, which would be huge. It doesn't appear like that's going to happen. Carl has plenty of resources in his hand, but you'd like to see a uh, perfect play. Alright, so we're going to see a roast. He's probably going to bench that Rush Ram that came back. And obviously Blue Flare is coming up. Uh, Kyle whiffed on a second, another Rescue Energy. So things could get dicey for him in two turns if he doesn't see any. He only plays a three Rush Ram, which is, we can see he comes into play here. And he doesn't play a revive either. Alright, so the three Typhlosions are actually huge for Kyle because he doesn't have an energy in his hand, I don't believe. Oh, he does, never mind. But it does allow him to keep that energy in his hand for a roast reveal instead of playing it down. And blue flare. Gonna see a lot of blue flaring going on here, folks. Carl's gonna have a cedar in his hand. I see a Kingdra as well, so that's gonna come to play next turn. It's not too big of a deal. 
allows him to gust a Typhlosion if he wants to, but I don't see why he would. Uh, he can tell that, he should be able to tell that Kyle only runs 3 Rush Ram and that he whiffed the Rescue Energy. Alright, so this is Kyle's last Rush Ram, maybe, unless he draws a Rescue Energy this turn. And if he whiffs on the Rescue Energy, Carl is going to have the advantage. And what was a great start for Kyle would be wasted. Yeah, he's thinking about it because he knows this is possibly the last Rush Ram. Top tech didn't help, and the Rose Reveal. Oh, so he hits the Rescue off the top card. That's a welcome sight for Puka, I'm sure. Benches of the fourth Cyndaquil down. There's no reason not to. He's out of Rush Rams, obviously. Plays down that Rescue. And looks like a Collect Earth in the deck as much as possible. Try to hit into yet another Rescue. He has one left in the deck, I see it. Uh, he actually is out of Basics here. Just want to see what was left. Alright. Not sure what supporter is Kyle in his hand. It looked like possibly an Oak's new theory. That doesn't really help him too much. His hand is so big, you'd rather keep those cards into his in his hand and thin the deck more by roast revealing or playing Possibly Sharon, that type of supporter. And a blue flare. He attached an energy to the Nine Tails so he could retreat it next turn and keep the afterburner going without having to attach the energy with his hand. Keep the blue flare going without having to attach the energy from his hand. Alright, so Carl so Carl promotes the Rush Ram. Obviously, just gonna blue flare again. Plays his afterburners. Uses the spray splash on the Cyndaquil. It's pretty irrelevant this game where he spray splashed too. I'd probably prefer it to be on a Typhlosion. Put each Typhlosion at one damage so we can gust with Catcher and Blue Flare for the knockout later and a later turn with another spray splash. Alright, so that play is irrelevant as Kyle has a 4th Typhlosion out. Looks like he has a fire to Roach reveal. Hopefully hitting a rescue energy. He's praying for a rescue here folks. Looks like he whiffed but he did get a Sharon so he's going to see 3 more cards. Fire, Supporter, and a Junk Armor looked like. So, Kyle is in very bad shape. He took the first prize, but this is what happens when you only play three Rush Ram. You can run out. I would be very surprised if he didn't blue flare this turn. He really has no alternative to that. He can't afford to not take a prize. Uh, he's just going to have to hope that Carl gives him some kind of opening, maybe benches a basic Pokemon from the catcher. That's really the only way I could see Kyle winning this game at this point because he is going to run out of Rush Ram. He does have a catcher in his hand so that's really what he has to hope for here. Carl promotes this, his last Rush Ram. Collectors. Hopefully he doesn't play any basics he collectors for. Uh, I think I saw a horsey and a bell sprout left in his deck. Neither of them helps him out here. He grabs the bell sprout. Hopefully he's not into king. He's playing it on the bench. <laughs> Looking at Kyle's hand. Another possible out is if he draws a plus power and if there's a ton of junk arms in his hand, 
maybe he can tie Flozen for a large amount of damage. Hope Carl afterburners a ton on his active or on some other Pokemon to enable him to do so. So he actually had another Rush Ram. Afterburners twice. I would have liked to see the energy attachment a little bit different there. He could have afterburner to the bench rush ram and attached to the active, keeping it at 20. He has to know Kyle is out of rush rams, so his only out is some kind of huge attack with plus powers. By afterburnering twice to the active, he just helps Kyle out more if he happens to have that unlikely, it's an unlikely scenario, but that's Kyle's only out here. And you can see a small misplay might provide the opening that Kyle needs. Uh, it doesn't look like Kyle has anything in his hand. I don't see a plus power. He's holding on to that catcher. You can see, uh, can he catch or something and avoid a blue flare next turn? I don't think so. Carl played a switch the first turn of the game. And you... He probably has a junk arm in his hand. It's just uh, an unlikely scenario that Carl would not have the junk arm switch in his hand. Junk arm for the switch in his hand. Also, last turn, Carl could have, instead of attaching to that bench rush ram, Attached to the other Typhlosion, uh, it would have enabled him to not whiff a blue flare in the case that he didn't play a switch, or didn't have the junk arm for a switch. Because he could attach again, after murder twice the rush ram, and blue flare that way after a retreat. So another slight misplay, we'll see if it comes into play. So. Kyle retreats. We'll see what he hit off that Sharon. Oh, he did hit the plus fire. So it appears Kyle is going to be able to knock out this rush ram with 100 damage, junk arming twice. Wow. So I don't think Kyle had another junk arm in that hand. So that afterburner damage proves to be fatal for Carl. Just the slightest opening allowed Kyle to win this game. Wow. I mean, <laughs> that's just a ridiculous way to finish a game there. Carl had to think he had that, wow. And Kyle, he's one of the best players in the game for a reason. Wow. He's able to snatch victory from defeat in game two, and there will be a game three. And I'll be right back with that for you folks.